It was sentencing day for the man who admits to driving high and then crashing into a car last summer in Massapequa, killing four members of one family. As CBS News' Carolyn Gussoff reports, remaining family members gave him an earful about the grief he caused. The Huntley family of Uniondale, missing four beloved members, spoke through tears directly to Michael D'Angelo, the driver who took their lives, calling him a negligent addict with complete disregard for human life. He belongs behind bars. He doesn't belong in the real world. A car full of potential gone in an instant last August when the family out for ice cream celebrating Marine veteran Pat Huntley's job promotion stopped at a red light. Huntley was killed along with his two children, 10-year-old Jeremiah, 13-year-old Hannah, and later his 6-year-old granddaughter, Chantal Solomon. It's been really hard trying to um, go through life not being a mom now. I have to explain like how my daughter died and why I don't have her. The prosecutors say they were robbed of an entire lifetime, a family with three generations of mothers who had to bury children. A normal afternoon for a family, but up on the road, Michael D'Angelo was a menace. He was driving erratically for miles. Video captured D'Angelo's car like a missile, said prosecutors, barreling at 120 miles an hour down busy Sunrise Highway, obliterating the Huntley's car. Officials say he was high on cocaine and fentanyl with a long history of drug abuse. He told the court, I'm taking full responsibility. It's my fault. Words do not exist that would explain my remorse. Those are just words. It's very easy for him to say, I would exchange my life for this. The judge sentenced D'Angelo to 7 to 21 years, telling him it's small consolation to the victims that you didn't intend to kill anyone. Being addicted to drugs is not an excuse for what you did. Given chance after chance to change, but he never took them. He has two Briar convictions for driving under the influence. That was Carolyn Gussoff reporting for us today. Two more of the Huntley children were also injured in that crash.